see him tomorrow. Move back to the start line. And one man who you usually see in the BMW 1 Series Coupe is Pavel Korpilinski, but he is now in his new S14. And Nodo Kudua from Georgia, who was very impressive in the first two rounds in Austria, will go up against him. Korpilinski, a big contender for a podium this weekend, but we were uncertain how he would do in this new S14 chassis. Well, he kind of answered us very quickly with a third place in qualifying. Yeah, he was looking incredibly strong earlier in practice as well. Car slots in into gear. Hello, Korbalinski. Today, taking a step out of a BMW chassis into a Nissan one. No De Crodua, though, having problems with that car. Came back in from practice on a recovery truck. Looks like he's working now, but fails to initiate. And that allows the door to be opened by Pavel Korbalinski. As Korbalinski absolutely smokes out the grandstand as he comes past the down. That's such a bubble. Oh, a big wobble from Korpolinski, upsets his line, has to get back into it. No Dakota, though, no answer at the moment, working himself into the zone. But Korpolinski looking incredibly strong out front. Yeah, from my perspective, I was, look, I was about to say Korpolinski's got this one sewn up, and then that wobble yeah. on the D-cell zone, you know, will play a big hand in what the result is here because it did upset the chase driver. If you watch the initiation here, Korpolinski, perfect. Koda in the middle of the track, and no, just in the wrong place there, and he's on the inside of the circuit, not what the judges want to see. He does tidy it up from there, but just towards it, he gets up on the curve, Korpolinski, it messes up his line. He sort of, I wouldn't say fully straightens up in the middle, but he wobbles big time, and not the perfect transition. And you can see from Kodua's point of view, he's kind of in no man's land behind, having to kind of make an, uh, an adjustment. And as they go across the finish line, you can see it is, I mean, I would still say an advantage to Korpolinski, maybe yeah. not as sizable as originally it would have thought. No, so there we go, back to the line they go. And as I mentioned, problems with uh, no Dakota's car in practice, that car came in on the back of the recovery truck. So I wonder if there's issues with that car, maybe. The thing is, it's funny if you said, oh, did you see the car in the recovery truck? That counts for 95% of the grid this weekend. <laughs> everyone's been for a spin. Everyone, everyone, everyone's, everyone's, in first, yeah. everyone's in first name basis with the recovery driver this weekend. Free spin home. That's yeah, he's doing the most back. laps, that's for sure. <laughs> right, we go back to the second half of this one. The eyes tell the story. Concentration up to maximum as the off the line and will the Georgian driver be able to fight his way back into this? Well he's going to try to Dave through the gears he goes looks for a nice initiation now that's a lot better for Cordova. and now Pavel Korpolinski starts to fall a little bit behind whoa brave transition from Korpolinski as he lets Noda Cordova start to drive away but Cordova sacrifices outside zone four Korpolinski gets himself up into the crease down into outside zone six they go Cordova to the wall not scared to put the back of that BMW on the wall in outside zone six and across the line, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Dave. Kodua's lead was absolutely beautiful. This is where I never want to be a judge. When we stand here, we can make our opinions count, but Korpolinski's cut corners here. Now, I'm going to look for some mistakes in Kodua's lead because I don't know if there were any in it. I mean, Shallow's off there, sacrifices outside zone four. It's probably the biggest mistake he made. Yeah, but I mean, you got to remember that, you know, there is a very big mix of drivers and machinery here, but the level is high yeah. across them all. They've all been to finals before, they've all been to podiums before, but who's going to go to the top 16? It is Pavel Korpelinski getting the call. He's getting the call and going through. I'm just going to quickly.